As I mentioned in the previous video, uh, there are some settings that we can play with and adjust to improve the quality of the displacement map on the geometry. Of course, as I mentioned, it, displacement maps are resolution dependent. So they depend on the resolution of your geometry as well as the resolution of your images. So this is a fairly low resolution image, but if I wanted to make uh, a better displacement out of this image, I could actually just go to the uh, object here and in any one of the component modes here, let's see, Shift D to subdivide this object and uh, I'll just subdivide it once as a faceted object and you can see immediately in uh, OpenGL that the displacement looks a lot better. We can also undo that, let me undo that, and just go to the uh, objects, uh, the items surface settings right here. We can set the, since this is a Catmull Clark, as we can see down there, I can set this to uh, say 4 and set that render to four as well. And as you can see, it pretty much does the same thing. It uh, allows you to have a higher resolution uh, geometry in the background while OpenGL only displays the, uh, the original mesh geometry, mesh cage as it were. Uh, so you can see that the, the uh, displacement is a lot better. However, there's still a lot of horrible jaggies along here that uh, are very distracting to the eye and are, are not really very aesthetic. So uh, what can we do? Well, I'm going to change up the image to actually add a much better image to this object. And uh, let me just go to uh, diffuse color first, and then I will change up this image to let's go to this uh, one right here, which is an 8K 16-bit uh, image file, and it's very high resolution, and yet I still get a lot of responsiveness here out of Moto. Now let's see what this looks like as a displacement map in OpenGL. So I'm going to go to change this to displacement, and yeah, so we see it does displace, but boy, there's a lot of jaggies on there. <laughs> so couple of things we could do. Now for displacements, you really want to kind of focus on what they look like as a render. So I'm going to kick in the uh, render here and I'm going to just turn that on. And you can see right away, there still is a lot of jaggies on this. So there's a couple of settings we need to adjust right off the bat. First of all, let's go to the render uh, item right at the very top and go over to the edge tab where it says settings, go to the very bottom and generally, this is set to less, this setting right here. But I like to set it to more so that I can see all of the settings in that panel. So that kind of hides some of the uh, parameters that aren't used a lot. But uh, so always make sure that micro poly displacement is checked and s click on displacement as bump and give it a second and you can see right away that it smooths out those edges a lot. Still not a, ideal but it has smoothed it out quite a bit. Now the other parameter I'm going to do is go back to the scenes and click on the plane object there and go down to the surface settings. Now I'm going to bump up the uh, Catmull Clark settings there to 6 and I'm not going to go much beyond that and I'm going to 6 on the render level as well. And yeah, you can see that also adds a lot of smoothness to the geometry. But we still have some jaggies we need to fix. So now I'm going to go back over to the shading, go back down to my settings, and where it says displacement rate, I'm going to set that down to 0.2. And give it a second update, and you'll see that we get a lot smoother edges on there. Still got a few jaggies right there, so I'm going to go to set the minimum edge length to 50 microns. And give it a second. There you go. Now you have a lot, lot smoother uh, displacement on your geometry. And sometimes if it's not behaving the way you want it to, just turn off micro poly displacement and turn it on just so that the render can re-cache all the data. And there we go. And that's much, much better looking. 
And though displacement mapping is not a perfect solution for all situations, it does allow you the flexibility and freedom to explore a myriad of ideas quickly and easily by simply changing out the image maps.